This is the uh, Hydrofill Pro by uh, Horizon Fuel Cell Technologies. This is a portable uh, small hydrogen generator that runs on a proton exchange membrane electrolyzer. Currently these can be purchased uh, from FuelCellEarth.com for I think around like $950. I got this one uh, used on eBay for less. They can be used to generate hydrogen for uh, scientific use or to fill these metal hydride cartridges. You can get these for around $40. This is the Hydro Stick Pro. It's a small aluminum uh, canister. On the inside it has a metal hydride. It can store uh, 10 liters of hydrogen at uh, 30 bar of pressure. Uh, to get the hydrogen out, uh, you screw it into a special fitting. That can either be, it has just a little pin to press in the valve, it can either be a fitting without a pressure regulator, such as this, or a um, pressure regulator to reduce the pressure from 30 bar down to, down to a uh, lower pressure for use. The interesting thing about this regulator is it has a uh, pneumatic fuse in it, so for example, if you screw it in with into the hydrogen cartridge without any uh, anything on the output, you'll hear the regulator click, but there won't be you won't hear any gas flow. That's because um, it's designed that if in case the hydrogen line comes off, it'll shut off the flow automatically. It requires a back pressure to generate flow, so if you put your finger on it, it'll uh, release some hydrogen. But then the minute you take it off, it'll stop. So you kind of have to... You can kind of meter out the hydrogen. There's a very, very low flow coming through here, uh, uh, inconsequential, just to reset the fuse when uh, back pressure is established. Now, these um, hydrogen generators were designed to generate hydrogen for fuel cell experimentation and uh, power use. However, I'm interested in using them for deuterium generation for uh, fusion uh, neutron generators. So let's have a look at what's on the inside. In this case, I've uh, removed the front cover from the generator. And instead of using water, uh, like common distilled water, I am using 99% uh, deuterium oxide or heavy water. And when electrolyzed, instead of generating hydrogen, this will generate deuterium. So let's have a look at what's inside this uh, hydrogen generator. It's designed around a proton exchange membrane. There's a um, electrolyzer. There is a, a water tank up here, and it feeds. There's a water feed line which comes down here into the bottom of the oxygen side of the uh, PM cell. The top of the, ox uh, top of the oxygen side comes out into a little uh, vent of oxygen bubbles out in any water it's bubbles out is also also bubbles out, gets recycled into uh, the main uh, tank at the top. So on the hydrogen side of the fuel cell, there is just a small, narrow, 16th inch OD stainless line, which comes out. This is feeding hydrogen. This goes into a water separator tank. It has a hydrogen line in, a hydrogen line out, and it has a drain line at the very bottom. So any humidity and water that comes out in this hydrogen line is captured in this tank. Then, the output of this uh, exchange system then goes to a um, purifying system. So this 16th inch line comes around and goes into the bottom of this aluminum cylinder. This aluminum cylinder just has a single input line, single output line. Uh, there's no power or electrical feeds going into this, nor any electrical feeds going into the water separator. So I'm pretty sure this is a pressure swing absorption column. So any impurities that are coming into hydrogen are absorbed in a metal sieve. The output of the PSA column then goes into um, the fitting that the 
metal hydride cartridge screws into. When you screw into the cartridge, uh, there's a switch which this hits, and that switch just starts the uh, PEM cell. There's also a pressure transducer to monitor when the um, metal hydride cartridge is filled. Now the interesting thing about this is that that bottom of that water separator column then has a tube which comes up to a solenoid valve which empties into a waste water tank. So any condensed water in the hydrogen lines gets ejected there when the solenoid opens. However, when that solenoid opens, it also backflows some of the pressure from the metal hydride cartridge through the PSA column. This ejects the captured impurities back out this purge line. So that is how this, uh, the pressure swing accumulator is regenerated during use. So this both removes water and any other um, humidity or any other potential contaminates, contaminants in that column. So this has been filled with some heavy water, so let's, and this was an empty cartridge, which I'm now filling with deuterium. So I'm going to screw this in to the Hydrofill Pro, and it's going to contact that switch. You can hear it click. That first thing, that first hiss you heard, that was the solenoid valve clicking, and that's releasing pressure. So basically what that's doing is it's regenerating the PSA column, and that um, ejected uh, the hydro, um, some of the hydrogen pressure in the system back out through this uh, dump line, and you can see maybe a few droplets of moisture, but I'm really not getting any moisture, any water accumulation in the wastewater uh, tank up top. This whole system runs just on a 12 volt power supply. The control board's here, it's pretty simple. It looks like it has a buck converter to run the a PEM cell and maybe a small microcontroller, but that's about it. Um, seems to be a pretty simple system. Just monitor once the, the switch is hit, it purges the uh, PSA column, then it turns on the fuel cell and starts generating hydrogen, and that just gets absorbed in the deuterium, and, the, and that deuterium just gets absorbed in this cartridge. So looking up at the top, I'll show you what it looks like in the tank. So here is the reservoir. It has a little reservoir, a little float switch, and then there's the wastewater tank from, for any wastewater that's ejected during the purging of the PSA column, though I haven't seen any accumulate in there yet. So for a better view of what this uh, schematic looks like, You'd have the water tank here, the water would go into the PEM electrolyzer, moist hydrogen would come out, um, moisture would be separated by the water sep uh, separator. In this case, the schematic's a little different from what's going on in the Hydrofill Pro. This line isn't actually here. This line would actually be uh, connected to that vent solenoid, and then the hydrogen would flow through the PSA column into the metal hydride uh, tank. In this case, when that solenoid valve opens, some of the hydrogen backflows through the PSA column, backflows through the bottom of the water separator tank, which would eject any water, and then out 